Hey, good evening. So, my name is Lou, and uh, those of you that have been following my posts, uh, this is my first message to all of you. And um, the thing I want to share with you is, you know, who am I? And uh, as I ask myself that question, I want you, as you're watching this, just ask the question, who am I? And the answer immediately comes through as, well, I'm a man. And the next thing that comes to mind is, I am a managing director of a multinational company. And um, I'm a son to a woman called Sylvia, and I'm a brother to a guy called Joe and Christina. And I'm an uncle to Chelsea and Cole and Jared. You know, these are my family members and I'm their brother and son and uncle. And, um, you know, I, I'm a motorcycle racer. I race motorcycles on the weekend, track days every now and again. And I race a Harley, you know, I ride a Harley. So I'm a, I'm a biker. I'm a biker. I'm a, I ride a Harley. I ride a suit bike. I ride several suit bikes. So I'm a biker. And I love cars, so I'm a car, a biker and a car. Yeah, that's what I am. And, um, oh, let me not forget, I'm, I, I'm an architect. I have a degree in architecture. Oh, hang a second. I've also got a um, degree in, in marketing, and I have a doctorate in strategy. So, actually, I'm a strategist. Now, can more than one thing be true and simultaneously true? And true only if it exists in a paradox. And a paradox only exists in duality, meaning two things are simultaneously true at the same time. But if only truth is true, then there cannot be two, two truisms. Therefore, unless it is true in itself, it cannot be true. And therefore, when I say I am an architect, am I really an architect? Does such a thing as an architect exist? Architect is just a label given to someone who has studied architecture. And what is an architecture? It's just a combination of skill sets from construction, design, to engineering, mathematics, to agronomics, and... Um, and then concept of, of space and time and, and scale and perspective. It's just ideas. And therefore, I cannot be an idea. And if I'm, if I'm an idea, then that idea changes and therefore isn't true. Because at one stage, I was an architect. And then I was a marketing manager. And then I was a managing director. And then I was a chief executive officer and then a business consultant and now a guru shawarma dude. So actually I'm none of those things. So I cannot be what I do. I cannot be my physiology, my physicality, my sexuality. These are just concepts. These are just ideas. So what am I? I am an idea. And as I become aware of the idea, the awareness of the idea is what I become. I become aware. I become the awareness of the awareness of all the ideas and thoughts, which are ideas, of this vessel, which in essence is just vibrating molecules clustered in an idea of form. And therefore, I am not that either. I am therefore just the awareness that I am the awareness. And therefore, I am that I am. I am the awareness that I am that which experiences the awareness that sometimes is unaware of the awareness, is caught up in the idea and the ideas which become story. And those stories 
I take very seriously in its myriad of forms and levels from what I believe to be valuable or values to what I believe is a moral standpoint of right and wrong, good and bad, better or worse, a hierarchical understanding, as I put it, as an idea of what is higher and lower what is to be more regarded than not, more respected than not, more important than not, more worth more attention than not. And yet all that I speak of is simply an idea, an idea that I've believed for so long is true. And now in the awareness of it all, realize that nothing is. And therefore, the awareness itself is held in place by something. And that something that holds this awareness, to use the English word, is conscious of this awareness, fully present of this awareness. This consciousness that is the substrata, the screen on which the awareness plays out its myriad of roles, this consciousness is no different to using a word, God, source, that which has created everything that exists, that which is fully present in everything, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent, the omnificence of everything that is created, being created now and eternally, is God, is consciousness. The awareness that sustains this awareness held by consciousness, that spirit of awareness, I have called spirit. And the consciousness which holds all of this awareness in connection with the awareness, recording it without any judgment, simply observing the awareness become more aware of itself until it's fully immersed in consciousness, God, I have called soul. And when the awareness recedes, slows down, becomes physical, takes form, becomes an identity of ideas, of belief systems in form, and we call that the physical body, with all its ideas filtering through its physicality, emotion and feeling, thought upon, reflected upon, engaged upon, considered upon, becoming thought once again, filtered through the myriads of ideas of ideas, it becomes intellect. And yet all it seeks for is that gentle joy of peace from where it came, when it had no idea of itself, which is in resistance to what is. And as it lets go, realizing that none of this actually serves that in a state of peace, nothing I pursue, nothing I want to gain, nothing I want to be a part of anymore. I let it all go, receding back and simply gently letting go into the awareness of the awareness that I am, the awareness that I am, touching on the consciousness which sustains me, returning to consciousness which is the Lord God of my being. That is what is. Nothing more, nothing less. I hope what I've shared with you brings some light on the matter of something that has never existed other than as an idea. And so be it. Amen. Peace to you all. Love you all. Be home. Be safe. Be kind. Be generous. Be creative. Be loving. Cheerio.